Welcome to the stream, everyone. I am Green Leader, and uh, tonight we're playing some Minecraft. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Um, sorry for the late start. Um, got a little caught up trying to help my parents. We're building some walls downstairs, and uh, he, my dad, got caught up building a wall. Worked a little later than we were planning to, and unfortunately, I just kind of bumped back my schedule a little bit. So I do apologize for the late start, but we're getting into it now, and uh, we will be exploring a ravine today. At least that is the plan. Um, we're going to be going through. Um, we have a r ravine relatively close to our farm and our base, and um, the, the plan is we'll be going down there, trying to see if we can't find any dungeons, trying to see if we can't find any uh, uh, any sort of treasure, or maybe some saddles, or maybe some some carrots, or some other useful items down there. So that that is the plan. That's what we're doing, and uh, I think we'll just go ahead and just get straight into it. I don't know. I knew I forgot something. Sorry, with my phone telling me I'm dangerously low on space. But I usually, I usually like to have my mobile, my little mobile preview up, and I forgot to set that up. It's been an interesting week for me. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just, I'm just forgetting things. It's like, it's like I've forgotten how to stream. What the, what the hell? I don't know what the hell's going on. Just an interesting, interesting week for me. Okay. Sweet. Ready to go. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Okay. Ow. Not exactly what I was planning on doing. Um, I do want to drop off some stuff that I don't need. Oh, also, I do want to also maybe do a little bit of reorganizing. Um, cause right now, I've just kind of shoved a whole bunch of stuff in here that doesn't need to be. Um, wrong button. This actually isn't too badly organized, but this this is just just full of just random stuff. So I think what we'll do is we put some stuff down here and I do actually want to... Do I have any... I don't have any of the short ones on me. That should do. I just don't like the look of it floating in the air, so we'll... Okay. And I don't have any axes either. My gosh, I'm just all over the place tonight, aren't I? Whole bunch of stuff right there. Um, I suppose the other question is, damn it, I gotta go, I gotta go put some stuff back into here first before I do anything else. Um, put the chicken feathers, seeds, more seeds, some wheat, pumpkin I can't shove up there, that I can, definitely can with the eggs, definitely, uh, I can't with the sugar. Um, I think that's enough space to pick up the rest of the stuff. Most of the space, and that's fine. Also, I forgot I've got I've got some potatoes now. The actual hell? Seriously? Why? Does it have to be the same? Ah, uh, I think I know why. Uh, it has to be the same wood type, I bet. Um, we'll replace these with these. Yeah, it has to be the same wood type. Okay, let's put down... The what you call it? The storage bins. Okay. And I think in here we'll put just a whole bunch of food. So pumpkins. Oh, 
flowers, no terracotta. Nope, nope, that's the only food we got in here, and that's fine. Got food there, that's for sure. So we'll shove the potatoes in there. Uh, in fact, did I... Yeah, there's the suspicious stew. Doesn't exactly look good. Um, go upstairs, and we'll replace all these flowers and... Oh, damn it, sugar. Damn it. Okay, so we'll pull down some eggs. Place the flour up there. Pull down some more chicken. We'll make another set of... As my, as my lampshade just decides to just tilt down. Like those... Not the terracotta, please. Thank you. Okay, food, food, food. Uh, non food. Okay, good, 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 good. And in here, let's just put some. Let's just put the random building blocks, shall we? So gravel, handle the site, terracotta, some more terracotta stuff, um, sand, hay bale. I wonder what I can do with the hay bale, actually. Seeing as I've got, seeing as I have one, I wonder if I can break that down into hay. That would actually be a nice little thing, but I doubt it. Also, I forgot to put the eggs in here. I really wish there was actually an auto sort. That would be super duper nice. Uh, we'll put meat down here. We'll put vegetable products there, and we'll kind of work off that. Um. Okay. Food, food, food. Not sure what the hell that is. Not food could be considered. Kelp might be considered food, I don't know. Um, okay. As for this and this and this, I think we'll put these in a different bin. This, I'm thinking of, like, basically setting up as my planting stuff. So, like, every... Seeds and whatnot need to be... Seeds, flowers, whatever, need to be stored here instead. These are actually seeds. These are seedlings. Here's some sugar cane, which I actually need to set up some sugar cane production. I don't have any, anything going right this second, which is unfortunate. Um, let's also pull out the glass, and we'll pull out this obsidian, because again, it's another random building block. Um, okay. Meat, eggs, eggs, more meat, apple, kale, that, that, that. Anything else that's considered food? That would be a no. Um... Random building block, random building block. Some more random building blocks. Let's try and put some stuff together that should be together. So this is gravel and gravel. I can actually use that to, to mine for some flint. Random andalusite. Here's some terracotta, which we'll put down here. Here's the regular. Here's some glazed. Glazed terracotta. We'll put the hay bale there. Okay. And I'm just going to be OCD. So we're going to put the meat here. Eggs down here. Uh, vegetable products. Mm, okay. Here's what we'll do. This stuff is the stuff we get from farming. So we're going to put the wheat there. Potatoes, pumpkins, uh, even apples, technically. Uh, kelp, that's a maybe. Um, sugar, definitely, and then we'll put that suspicious stew is like made food. So. Hey, don't do that. Sleep the night, get back up, finish sorting stuff.
I don't know why I have to be OCD about this, but it, it just bothers me. Um, yep. In fact, you know, I might put this down in that other little random building blocks one. Um, non-plant, non-plant. That's equipment, so I might set up a different one. crafting stuff. See, that's sunflowers. Lilac. We'll put the flowers up here. Flowers. 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 Some more flowers. We'll put the book over there. Orange tulip. Azure. Blue it? Interesting. And... Feathers I can grab. Grab that. Great. Okay, um... Sugar cane's fine there. Okay, I think that's nicely organized. Kind of wish I could name these maps. Oh well. Cool. <sighs> okay. I actually don't have any random building blocks. We'll take a look at this one. Any more food? I don't really have any more food. Okay. Yes, that's exactly what... Yep, totally what I wanted. Uh-huh. For sure. kind of want to actually switch this out to... To be, uh... See, I got stone up here. Maybe I should bring up that Andalus. Yeah, see, I've got Andalus in here and Dorite. Let me turn this into, like, actual... Okay, I think that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need to set up something here that's like just crafting. Mm. Okay, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this again, we're gonna make... Well, that sucks. Well, we'll make the one. This will be our sort of like interchanging one. Also, can I? Nope. Oh. What the hell? Um. Can I access both? I can. Holy cow, that's actually cool. Okay, okay, okay. I like this. I like this. I see where this is going. I see where this is going. Um, let's make three. So, crafting specifically, I think what I'll do is I'll actually put crafting in this bench. Like, stuff that's worth really crafting. Um, so, stuff like the spider eye, the feather, the bone, the uh, 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 iron, redstone, this fire charger core, rotten flesh, um, the string. The rotten flesh, I'm, I, I'm not sure what I'll need to do with this. I mean, maybe just feed my dog beyond that. I don't know if I can really craft that. So we'll, we'll see what that. We'll see, we'll see what we decide to do with that. But leather for sure. Um, definitely flint. Gunpowder. The lasso. And then, as for everything else, let's pull down all this stone stuff first. We'll try and drag all the stone. And then we'll start bringing the dirt. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. 
Okay. Um, we're gonna put stone in here first. Okay. And then if we've got room, I'll put the dirt in there. If not, what I'll do is I'll just use one of the others. Okay, we'll do that. Also, good to consolidate as much as possible, because there's going to be a lot in here. Um, Analysite. Put the specialty stones in this quadrant here. So... I already pulled out the Analysite. Okay. Um, let's go see how much more stone I've got. If we don't have a lot, I'll just... Yeah, we don't have any, which is kind of perfect. We'll put down all that dirt. Down on this quadrant. But we'll just get it in there first. Okay. Sweet. Um, wrong one. Rest of the dirt, and then we'll start pulling out all the wood stuff as well. Actually, you know what? I'll keep the the made stuff because that is technically a, a crafted item, or items that could be used for more crafting. So, um, so we'll take that. Put all the dirt down there, and then we'll put, say, wood in here. Yep. At some point, I'm going to have to actually get some more, you know, get some more uh, tree trunks. But for right now, we're fine. For right now, we're, we're okay. We're oakley doakley. Okay, so this is made stuff. This is stuff that we can make stuff with. Actually, that I don't think we can make anything with. That's made stuff. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I think I think we'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Um, just trying to think what else. I'll put the coal in here as well, because it can also be used for crafting stuff. Um, I'll leave the charcoal in here too. Cool, cool, cool. And I don't need the hoe with me right now. I don't need the shears with me right now. I don't want to lose those for no reason. I don't need these in here with me either. Um, in fact, I'll take these as well. It's the new map. That is the old map. Okay. Let's take a look at these maps. That is a little more consolidated map. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, that's that new map that's like... Shit, I wish it would actually show me which direction I'm facing from here. And this is a blank map. Okay, so I'm gonna put the maps like right here. Also an empty map. Hey, Pale Gloss, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're hope you're having a good night. What's a, what's going on? Hey, original G. 
Oh my gosh, we got two of you guys in here. How are you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. Look at those organizational. Yeah, I know, right? You call it organizational, I call it OCD. So. <laughs> How's your guys' night going? Hope you guys are doing well. What you guys up to? What is the plan for the evening? Let me guess. Probably playing some Minecraft yourself. Literally just hopped in to troll you. I'm great. I'm glad to hear that you're great. I also appreciate the trolling, as much as that sounds odd and bizarre, but I do. I appreciate you guys stopping by, even if it is just to troll me. Um, yeah. Also, this was the new addition from last night. Just a little, just a little basic harbor here. Um, and I've got, I got my pumpkins growing now as well. So things, things going good. Things are going good here. Uh, we're in Minecraft, but a, but in an AFK room. Nice. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. How goes, how goes your Minecrafting? Thank you for your organizational skills. I need to clean up after Pale Gloss every time. <laughs> I don't think G's happy with your organizational skills, Pale Gloss. Gotta be honest. Gotta be honest. That sounds like there's not... Sounds like G is not a happy camper. Okay. So we are actually going, like, just over there. There's a ravine that I actually, I, I feel like I could explore pretty easily because it's open to the sunlight, which means I don't have to worry about shit spawning on me. In fact, here it is, right here. One of these is a good hole, one of these is a bad hole. Yeah, okay. I call this the bad hole because it just goes down into empty darkness. Whereas this one that's over here goes into the ravine. She leaves her dirt all over my sheet every time. <laughs> nice. Um, or cake. I tend to leave cake everywhere. No, that too. That's what he said. Yes. Yes, that is what he said. That is definitely what he said. For sure. I was there. Damn it. I should have brought some dirt. Pale Gloss, where are you when I need you? I, I would be fine with you leaving dirt all over the place. Because I need some right now. <laughs> And I don't want I I don't wanna I don't wanna be digging up some stuff right now. Shit, I might have to. Gosh. Okay. Let's dig up some dirt. Because I need to make a dirt bridge, basically. I don't need a lot, I just need enough to make the bridge. Don't get me started on cake? Why would you need to get started on cake? What? Well, I mean, besides to eat it, but like, what's wrong with the cake? <laughs> it's not like it's poison cake or anything. Enjoy the cake, sir. Enjoy the cake. Hey, I left it in good spots this time. <laughs> well, sounds sounds like that's an improvement. Sounds like that is a step up. Um. There are my torches. Hello, torches. Kaboom. There's not really a lot of room for stuff to spawn in here, so. That's good. In fact, I don't even really need a bridge. Um, we cleaned the space for the building. Then she placed it everywhere in that area. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is pretty funny. It sounds like she did clean it up, though. To be fair. To be fair. It sounds like she did clean up the, uh, the, 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 the random cake. I'm just doing this so I can traverse this without potentially falling down to my death. I think I just heard a horse. There is a horse above me. And if only I had a freaking saddle. But the game decided to take the ability to craft that shit away from me, which makes me sad. Like, what the hell, Minecraft? Since when and why? This makes me sad. Uh, 
Yeah, and then I place more. <laughs> Mother Hen always cleans up. That's true. Uh, just a simple chef, Mother Hen. At least I admit that I do go in the kitchen to make the sandwiches. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Who doesn't love a good sandwich? I love a good sandwich. Whether it's made for me or if I have to make it, I don't care. Ooh, okay, okay. I do want to get this coal. I do want to get this coal, seeing as I'm right here. And thankfully, there was actually blocks below it. Hells. Damn, horse, you're loud, dude. I think I leveled up. Ooh, hello. That is a that is a bit of a drop there. That there. Hello, missed one. Thank you. Well, I'd like to have some dirt on me, which is why I really should just go back and get some. I'm going to have to go back and get some. <sighs> that scared me, actually, a little. <laughs> Thought I was going to fall down there. Um, why is it not possible to starve in a desert? Because of the sandwich that's there. I got it this time. I got it this time. Well, I said sandwich instead of sandwich is there. And you know what? That is actually a bit of a nerve-wracking corner there. So I'm just going to go ahead and just make that a little. I'll make that a little nicer. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that scared me! <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the raid. Rex0000. Zero, 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 zero. I really do appreciate it. How's it going? Hoping you're having a great night. Thank you so much for the raid. I really do appreciate it. I assume you're playing some Minecraft, but I could only guess. But uh, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Hope you're having a great night. And I gotta go back to my base to get some dirt. Uh, yeah, I was on, I was on High Pixel. What is High Pixel? I'm not familiar. Is that is that a mod or is that a uh, or is that a, uh, like another like Minecraft clone type of thing? And I, I'm I'm not a I'm, I'm not a Minecraft snob or anything, so I I think it's I think it's great if it is a clone or not. Uh, 1.89 PvP... Ah, okay, okay, okay. It's a minigame server, or whatever they all do. Yeah, yeah, totally. I gotcha, I gotcha. That's pretty cool. Like, what do you guys do What do you guys do on that uh, multiplayer server? Let's get the music back in. I just always like to... I, I like to hear the, the sound effects, because, uh, you know, Star Wars, huge fan. Well, huge fan of the original stuff. And, uh, yeah. It's fantastic. I don't think they place c cakes, okay? I don't think that's what they do in that multiplayer server. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Something tells me they probably don't. Although maybe they do. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Bed Wars, Sky Wars duels. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's definitely pretty cool. Nice. That's awesome. Some people hack. Eh. Pretty much every multiplayer game out there these days. I feel like every like every game has some amount of hacking, which is just so frustrating. So some drawing, some killing creepers to protect a villager. Sure, totally, totally. But some people just practice. Sure. Does Hypixel still have the cart racing thing? Ooh, that actually sounds fun. Sounds interesting for sure. No. Ah. No. Sorry, cow. I just I, I want to use up the sword. I forgot to finish the sword off last time. <laughs> Hello, Lammy. 
I'm sorry, Whammy. Go next, Peggy. Gosh. Um, I don't think so, but I love uh, Ender Spleef. What's Ender Spleef? Yeah, I, I'm not familiar with these things. You know, here, I, I'm going to have to actually build a little, like... One of the reasons why I like to bring dirt. Make myself a nice little... Nice little... Eh. Fine. What? What? There we go. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta finish setting this up. There we go. Um, we'll get ourselves a torch. Such that nothing spawns in here. But you know what? Because of the little baby zombies, I'm gonna close that. Lights all the way around down here. Okay, now I can catch up. Um, you run until you fall and die and cry. Oh my! You play as an Enderman and try to break uh, blocks under people to kill. Oh, interesting. That's kind of cool. Hut? Uh, not quite a hut. Just uh, just closing off the area such that nothing can get in. Well, at least from here anyway. I'm sure stuff can still spawn and fuck with me basically. So. Um, how long have you played Minecraft? So, I played a very long time ago, and then, uh, just basically stopped playing. You know, just got into other games, and I've always, I've always been more of just a, like, just kind of like a chill and survive and just build whatever I feel like building. Um, but I, I was around when it was still just in the beta, like, before it was even released. And then, I think I stopped just after they added horses... I think I'm not entirely sure when when I stopped, but I just remember I had stopped at some point, and there have been a lot of additions since then. So I'm I'm getting back into it. Um, shit, that's a hole. I nearly fell right down there. <laughs> oh man, I am very glad. I'm very glad I caught myself. That could have ended badly for me. Um, okay, I got one there. I'm also kind of meticulous, so you'll you'll see me do like just be very OCD about things. Um, like before before you actually joined up, I was literally just reorganizing my uh, uh, my storage bins just because I was just I didn't like how it was looking and it was bothering me, and my brain said I have to fix this right now. So yeah, pretty much how I operate. Okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna need to make some more torches, aren't I? And I only have one stick. That's lovely. Okay. And that is where that little, like, dungeon area was. Goodbye, little block. You shall be lost forever. I'm sorry. Okay. Random lamp. What? What? Sorry, Rex. No, I didn't see what happened. What happened, Rex? Got to be, got to be careful about those. Uh... Yeah. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. The. Uh... We we don't like links here, generally speaking. Um, just because we you know how some people are. You know how some people are. So, uh, you you can post links. You just gotta let me know beforehand so I can give you so I can give you a little permission to do so. Uh, I tried typing Hixel and uh, sorry Hypixel and it said it was yeah yeah yeah. 
because you, you add the .NET, and so here's the funny thing: the bot will, for whatever reason, it'll basically say if you if you put a word, a, a period, and then another word, it, it could be whatever, right? And the bot will read that as a uh, it'll read that as an actual hyperlink for whatever reason, and then it just it panics, it freaks out. So I do apologize. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. I apologize. I apologize for my bot being overly protective on the hyperlinks. I don't know why. He just it it just does that. It does that on a regular basis. Like it's it's purged regulars for like not even put like accidentally putting uh, you know, not even putting in a real link. It's just like, "Oh, you forgot to put a space between a period and another word. And so we think it's now a link. That should be good. That should be enough light to stop anything from spawning. Hey, the League Esports 2. How's it going, dude? Hope you're doing well. You should apologize for playing Mine... What? What? What's wrong with playing Minecraft? Minecraft is fun. Minecraft is interesting. Minecraft just kind of satisfies a certain amount of OCD that I just need to have in my life. I hear, I hear, oh, where's my bow? Where's my bow? Where's my bow? Where you at? Where you at? See, I can do that too now. The fuck? Was not wanting to hit the light. Oh, gosh. Look at me dodging these bullets like a, oh, gosh. Debated. Die already. I know it's not very nice, but... Sorry, guys. Oh, shit. Get me the light. Fuck crying out, dude. There we go. There we go. That's better. Mucho, mucho better. Gosh. At least I was able to dodge quite a few of those hits. Here, let me see how many are actually in me. Ah! Uh, we got a few. We, uh, I got at least three. I got at least three in me. So that's that's a little unfortunate. Um, sorry, man. I gotta catch up. Yeah, rip all the EAT files. Yeah. I asked if tomorrow did you want to play Hypixel and maybe I could teach you how to PvP. Um, I'm not really doing a lot of multiplayer stuff, so maybe another time. Uh, yeah. I also generally have a rule not not to play with uh, uh, newcomers on the first time. So, yeah. Sorry, dude. But definitely another time. If, if you're coming to hang out a lot more, definitely, for sure. Um, if you're apologizing for trivial things... Oh, fine. Sorry, the league. <laughs> have a great stream, buddy. Uh, just had to give you a little bit of heart. Hey, no worries, dude. No problem. Have a great night, dude. How was your... By the way, how was the, uh, the, the, the games tonight? Wasn't there games tonight? What were the games tonight? Isn't it... Uh, it's either League or it's Valorant, right? I can only guess because I forgot to check the schedule, so... It is Le League of Legends tonight. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Did no repeat play? Or did at least his teams play? Did they get to be on, uh, uh, on the, uh, the stream? Or would you not know? I just ask because I know he'll pop in here and tell me if that is the case. Oh, you little son of a... Mm-mm. 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 Oh, I see you, little creeper. Yeah, I see you, bitch. Oh, you don't. Oh, you don't. There we go. I was going to say, how did that one hit not get him? Yes! Okay, I was just about to turn and run. <sighs> okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go and actually uh, get some more torches or some sticks or something. I don't know. That's the one thing I forgot to check. Um, uh, jump hit them on your... Oh, it will crit... Oh, I didn't even know that. That's my biggest problem. I See, I the thing that I've always focused on whenever I played Minecraft is not so much the combat and the... Ex it's it's more about the exploration and the... Uh, like, the building stuff. So, like, this is actually not my forte when, when it comes to... Uh, I do. I do still have plenty. 
Uh, it's not my forte, uh, combat-wise, so. Shit, I really wish I had some wood. Okay, I need to go and, uh, scared the shit out of me, Mr. Lamb. Uh, Monday is Smash, Tuesday is League of Legends, Wednesday is Valorant, that's right. Thursday is Rocket League, Friday is Rocket League slash Chaos of the Feywild. What is Chaos of the Feywild? Is that, is that a Dungeons and Dragons thing? Which, I thought you guys were going to invite me to one of those, damn it. Sad. This makes me sad. Yet another group of friends that won't play Dungeons and Dragons with me. I see how it is. I see how it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hurtful. Hurtful is what that is. I'm, of course, giving you crap. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, dude, I used to smack it in Smash for Wii U. Dude, Smash, yeah. I actually, I, I really like the Switch. The, the Switch Smash Brothers. I I, th I think it's actually a pretty good addition. To be fair, the only ones I've played is... is uh, No, that's not true. I did play the Wii one. I played the Wii one. I played the Wii U one. Uh, but I've only... Like, I didn't own them. I played from other people because I never I never got the Wii or the Wii U. Uh, I, I had the N64. I had the GameCube. Even had the SNES at one point. But uh, never got the, the Wii stuff. Twitch chat votes on stuff midstream, and those votes affect the game. Really? That's actually pretty cool. That's very cool, actually. That's awesome. Okay. Um, let me just quickly eat whatever food I have ready to go right now. I thought I had some food in here. Awesome. Sweet. Can heal up. Um, I need some actual, I need some wood that I can craft with. Wow, that's unfortunate. Um, only game I've ever played on the GameCube was Need for, Need for Speed. I don't even know there was a Need for Speed on the GameCube. That is most interesting. So I take it you are a youngin. Then, if that is the case, uh, it's a lot of fun producing. It's a nightmare because there are so many things to juggle at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can bet, I can bet. I mean, I, I remember helping produce with the Rocket League stuff. That is there. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to juggle there. So, I think it was most. Uh, okay, that yeah, that does actually sound about right. Um, I keep going back and forth in here. I don't need to be going back and forth. I need to quickly. I need to basically just make a whole bunch of sticks. So I can craft a whole bunch of torches. Okay, and I'm going to do this, and then I think I'm, I'm going to have to take a quick break, guys. I really do apologize. Just something has come up. And, uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Uh, let me just get the break scene set up. Yeah. Oh, we'll be right back. Um... It's a great time for you guys to stand up, stretch, go do what you need to do. We'll be right back in just a couple minutes. Uh, we'll see you guys in a second.
Okay. Let's get back to it, shall we? Actually, let's let's go to this scene for a second. Oh. One second. There we go. Okay. Welcome back. I hope you guys had a, a, a nice little break. I hope you guys got up, stretched, got something to drink, got a snack, did what you need to do. We are back. Um, yeah. Before we get back into it, though, do my normal unpaid sponsorship. I wish the stream was brought to you by Izzy. Delicious fruit sodas, no added sugars, no preservatives, just plain good. Tonight I've got sparkling peach. And I gotta tell you, it wasn't my favorite. Not to say that it wasn't good. It was very good. But I think it's really grown on me now. Uh, I, I think it's probably in my top three. Which, considering that there's only six flavors, and I've tried five of them, so... It's pretty tasty. Oh, that's good. So, yeah. Okay. Now that's done with. Let's just get back into it. Okay, so what did I miss while I was gone? Um, uh, you can watch the first two episodes on YouTube. Uh, okay, no, 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 I did see that. Okay, I need to actually go back and watch those because I haven't had the chance yet. I should definitely go check that out. Um, a lot of fun. It's great to chill. It's been been on the grind, uh, editing YouTube videos and making TikTok clips along with school and Twitch. Oh, nice. That's awesome, dude. Uh, but then I still only get zero to one viewers. For to be honest, it's yeah, it takes a while, and there's nothing wrong with that, dude. Clip mine uploaded to TikTok, got about 556. Nice, dude. Uh, but I killed a kid. I won in a four. Oh, that's awesome. Four v one. Was that in um? What was that in? Was that Call of Duty? What was that? That's pretty cool. Bed Wars, I see. Okay, nice. In mine, in the Minecraft server, that's that's pretty cool. Okay, um, I need to get. Okay, so I just made a whole bunch of torches. Um, sixty-four times four. I don't think we really want to do sixty-four times four. Let's let's do this. We'll do the fifteen. There we go. That is a whole lot better, and there's still a lot more to uh, to make. Uh, but I do smack on bro for the 360. Nice. Wait, wait. Smack on Black Ops. Bo. Okay. Nice. That's awesome, dude. And uh, let's do that. Oh, first raw button. Nice. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and head back out, head back to my little ravine, and, uh, continue on. So. So, Rex, hold up. Now that I think about it, you've been here before, haven't you? Right? Maybe I'm wrong on this, but I feel like you have. I'm horrible with names, by the way, so if, if I, if you have been here before... I do apologize for not recognizing it. I, I am a little bit of an idiot sometimes, so. Uh, my entire Instagram is of videos of me. Uh, of me 360 killing people with my golden shot. Nice, that's awesome. Uh, yes, I came a few That's right. Okay, I thought your name sounded familiar. Just for whatever reason, just wasn't, wasn't clicking. That's right. Yeah, last year middle of the, you know, starting of the pandemic and whatnot, so. Totally. Um, you know, just for safety's sake, we'll go ahead and do that. And I think what we'll do is we'll actually build a little, build a little bridge here. Should have the 
dirt to be able to do that now. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I not? Can I not? Yes, I can. Perfect. Do that. Man, I just, I just. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. You little butt monkey. Ah. Uh so much. I should have cleared it out first. That is so annoying. Oh, at least he didn't at least he didn't damage too much. Just took out a little bit of my bridge, but that's fine. Not the end of the world. Am I out of... Okay. They got some of this dirt here. Hello. Oh, this is the other hole. Okay, okay. Okay, let's see what we can do about just finishing off this floor. There we go, now we got a nice little bridge here. Okay, and you know, I do have enough to actually at least just fill up this just a little. My OCD brain kicking in. Um, I might have to leave soon, I gotta go to sleep, I've got school tomorrow. Yeah, no worries, dude. No worries, good luck. Um, you know, just, just let me know when you do, uh, end up popping off, but, uh, thank you so much for stopping by, dude. I really do appreciate it, and thank you for the, uh, thank you for the raid. Very nice of you to do. Um, ooh, and welcome to the Discord. Hey, have a good stream. Thank you so much, dude. I really do appreciate it. Have a great night, and, uh, yeah, good luck with school tomorrow, and hopefully, hopefully I'll see you again. I see you, little butt wipe. Yeah. Block those little butt wipes off. Am I not hitting it? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Ow! Okay, so I killed one of them. I'm gonna stick a torch just in there so at least I can prevent any more from spawning. Where'd you go? Where'd you... Yeah, I see you. A little butt wipe. Now! Will not have you blowing up in my face. I really don't need that right now. I hear footsteps of things and other things.
Uh -huh. you, are, are you done sizzling? Yeah. No more sizzling for you. Stop with the sizzling. Yeah, I see you there, you sneaky little butt wipe. Huzzah. I hate creepers. They are the worst. I think they've made them too. They're, they're, they're always relatively OP, but I, I, it's way too many hits to kill them. I think that's it. I could be dead wrong, though. Yep, I was wrong. What a dick. Fine. Goodbye. I got a whole bunch of coal I can dig out. And I do need to put a, a torch or two along here. Not pitch black. If I can see what the hell I'm doing. Stop anything else from spawning. That beautiful night sky. Zombie. No more brains for you. I really thought this was gonna be like an actual, like proper dungeon. Oh gosh. So that I gotta be careful of that. Oh, I missed that. And that. That's at least to make sure nothing can really come up here. Spiders, I don't mind coming up because I can deal with them pretty easily. So it's more the creepers. Where the hell did you come from? What's up, dude? That was that an actual spawn or what the hell? That was weird. That was very weird. Only one, really? Makes me a little sad. Dug directly this way, I'd run into them.
Ah, look at this. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Light right here. Nice. And I just wish I had more dirt. Which unfortunately I do not have. However, Well, we can pick these up. And use those to fill that in as well. As well as the chance of getting flint, that's always nice. better. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, okay. Oh, cool. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna come up with more... Uh, let's close that. I don't need... No, go away. How do I make this thing actually just go away? There we go. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna come up with more coal than I came here with, so that's... Not bad, to be honest. Hey, get Polaris. How's it going, dude? Uh, did you hear the EU is trying to beat Elon Musk's SpaceX? Uh, they're starting a space race with Elon. Uh, they injury might. Yeah. Yeah. Particularly as he is, like, leaps and bounds ahead of them, if that is the case. If they're really thinking that they're going to try and uh, get into the space race with Elon, that's... It's cute, is what that is. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Skelly down there. I could actually probably hit him from here. 
Aim a little high. Yes! Suck on that a one time. Where'd he go? Oh, he's like right there. Hell yeah. That actually killed him. Nice. Yep, it's all of the news. EU going up against Elon. That just seems like dumb. That's just super dumb on their part. <laughs> oh, man. Can you imagine if if I was Elon, I would... Uh, hold on. I would proud. I would be proud of myself. One man versus a continent. One man is winning. Well, one man with a chunk of money who has a dream and a vision and is willing to work his ass off to do it. Hell yeah. Because, I mean, keep in mind, SpaceX was like... They were on the verge of failing, too. And they, they finally figured out what the hell they were doing wrong and yeah just just amazing just how well they they fixed their shit and uh got the actual you know shuttles to work which is just fantastic I mean, that's that's always the thing, though. I mean, private industry is always going to be better than any sort of government, which is why I'm why I'm just amazed it's it's taken us so long to actually get private industry really involved with uh, 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 what you call with the space race, you know, with space in general. Like, that's really where you're going to see the most, you know, push forward is from private businesses, and private industries. The government sucks at whatever it does, so. Let, let the government just s sit back and just do what it does, which is just waste time and money. So, yeah. Uh, you know, Elon used to sleep in his company building uh, on the couch in the bad days. I actually, I can believe that. I can definitely believe that. Um, particularly, uh, shit, scared that shit out of me, Enderman. Holy cow. Um... Gosh, what was I gonna say? <laughs> um, like my my dad used to have his own company, and uh, on on like on the particularly bad nights, um, in fact, we didn't really have bad nights like that, but just like we we worked our asses off as a family to try and make sure that that thing you know did well, and uh, so yeah, it, sleeping at the office and being there when you're needed to be there. Yeah, I very much understand that. Uh, have you ever wondered why we never went back to the moon? Uh, we have the tech, apparently, so why have we got... Um, number one... I think it's mainly because a... <sighs> private industry didn't care. Private industry just did not care. There was nobody in the private sector who wanted to go back. And the government themselves pretty much priced themselves out of the market. They had already beaten the Russians uh, uh, to the moon, which because that's, that's really where the space race came from, was a competition between two giant superpowers which were in a Cold War. And uh, they were pretty much seeing it as a prestigious idea to be the first ones to make it to the moon. And so once they made it to the moon... They didn't need to continue going forward, so they just kind of price themselves out of the market. It's just how it goes. So I, I don't think I've ever really wondered why, but I mean, it just makes sense as to why. Because, as as I will always say, the government sucks at everything it does. Um, they're always going to overprice it. They're always going to make things too expensive, so that they actually can't continuing to do can't continue to do what they really want to do. Um, and again, not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just that, you know, you, you give the choice between a private industry, uh, between private industry and, the, you know, the government, the private industry is always going to do better. And unfortunately, nobody in the private sector really wanted to go back to the moon. That's my, that's my personal take on that. At least not until Elon Musk came into, came into play, right? Because then he, he got into play and he kind of got everything. 
I wouldn't say he got everything figured out, but like he he at least got us uh, uh, to a point where I think now it's viable for, or at least a lot more viable for uh, private industries to get into it. You know, we have a lot, a lot more understanding as to what we're doing, and the most expensive thing, which is you know the actual, you know, takeoff and the fact that the thing that helps you take off now just gets disintegrated into the atmosphere. That is so dumb. So the fact that we got that figured out, I wouldn't be surprised if more if more industries or not more private businesses actually start getting into it. And I know you're probably going to say something about along the lines of, oh, but Richard Bronson and Virgin Mobile. Problem is that he... Yeah. He did not try to figure out anything when it comes to, uh, you know, the most expensive part, which is, you know, the actual takeoff and whatnot. I feel like there is potential for stuff to come falling down on top of me, so I'm going to actually cover that up. There we go. You know, the space race ended up in a stalemate. The Americas made it to the moon first. Uh, the Russians made it to the space first. And that's true. That is actually very true. In fact, weren't they the first ones to actually put an orbiting satellite around the Earth? So they beat us there, right? They beat us to... Uh, they beat the U.S. to the space, to space itself. And then they beat the U.S. to actually, like, putting an, a satellite in orbit. So that is that is true. Um... Russians put the first earthly craft on another, on another planet in 1967. The Soviets landed a craft on Venus. Really? That I did not know. That's actually kind of cool. If only it wasn't from a communist state, but you know what I mean. The achievement, cool. Who achieved it and how they did it, not so cool. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Why do some of these things sound like they've got, like, super wet feet? Like, their feet always sound wet. Oshie. Yeah, there's no real... Um... The craft only lasted half a minute due to the acid and the heat, but they managed to get a couple of photos of Venus' surface before it melted. Really? Now that I did not know. Oh, man. I suppose that makes sense, but I mean, acid? Holy cow, dude. I didn't... Like, is the, the atmosphere acidic, or did they land in, like, a vat of acid? That's also a possibility as well, right? Yeah, I know, bro. Trust me, Soviet Union was crap, and I'm from there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, Yeah. Yeah, communism, no bueno. Really? That's it? No more? No more? Gosh. Game is being stingy with the iron for whatever reason. end here, okay. Where does this go? That there. Well, this is a nice, nice little, uh, very interesting little tunnel here. And with more iron. Oh, how's your day going, Gib? You guys, you guys gonna inundated with snow yet? What's what's going on, dude? Hmm. 
Okay, let's pick up the iron, shall we? Oh, yes, more iron. Love it. Um, yeah, we'll... Some more cobblestone down here. You know, Venus is closer to Earth than Mars, but we really can't go there because it's a lava planet. Sorry. Just double-checking nothing's behind me. There we go. Okay. Because um, it's a lava planet, the atmosphere is full of acid uh, from all the volcanoes. The surface is something like 70% lava flow. Really? That's actually amazing. And of course, it makes sense because it's it is within that range where it's so close to the uh, so close to the sun. Hello, how are you? There we go. But yeah, it's so close to the sun; it's getting hit with solar rays so much and so heavily that it's it's just melting, essentially. Um, that's how they managed to land on Venus. The Soviets were like, fuck Mars, Venus is closer. They didn't care about the science, they just wanted to beat the Americans, yep. And I think, I think that, I think, was probably a bigger part of it, right? I wonder how much of that was, you know, the fact that we didn't go back was a big, you know, due to the fact that we just kind of stopped caring because we had kind of beat them to the moon. You know? So, I wonder how much that is, that is in fact the case. Did the Russians ever actually go to the moon? I think China did. But, like, that was, like, recently. Like, within the last, what? I want to say 20 years, but I might be wrong. It wasn't, like, during the whole space race thing. Yeah, that's why I asked. It's probably because we also didn't care about the science. We were just... Yeah, exactly. I think that's I think that's the bigger part, right? The government didn't care about the science. The government just cared about the win over, you know, we beat the Russians or we beat the Soviets to the, uh, uh, to the moon, right? And so because they didn't really care because of that, they're like, well, we've accomplished what we've wanted to accomplish, so we've got no real reason to go back. And that's... And again, because... Hello. Uh, because the government tends to be just so bad with how it handles money, it, it tends to overprice everything, and so they pretty much fly, price themselves out of the market to going back. And private industry didn't care because it's private industry, so they, you know, rather wanted to focus on what they could make profits on here. So we needed somebody like Elon Musk to say, yes, I want to make profits, but I also want to make space travel a thing. You know, we want to actually move forward with, uh, you know, exploring space and going back to the moon and doing all that stuff. So, I'm very, I'm very glad he he uh, he has done what he's done with SpaceX. Hoping that I'll actually get some more, some more iron than just four at a time. But oh well. Well, I got 56 iron. Holy cow! That's actually nice. 
Nice little bundle there of iron. And I haven't even really checked out the ravine yet. I'm just going through and exploring this area. Oh, I forgot to actually check out this uh, chunk of coal. Uh, the Russians never put a man on the moon, uh, but funny enough, they put a rover-type device on the moon ten years before the American moon landing uh, in 1959. Really, the Russians landed on the moon, not man, but machine. 1969 was USA moon landing. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to see if there's any more. Nah, yeah, there's really nothing else for me to explore down here. And it's raining. Lovely. I can guess an Enderman decided to just put a random block of dirt there. This is kind of miserable weather. Um, and I don't have a bed. Although, not that it really matters, because I'm, I mean, I'm coming through here to uh, explore the underground, so, yeah. Look, let the internet do some decorating. <laughs> it gets in the way, though, Pale Gloss. Come on. Can't just can't just randomly put dirt blocks in the middle of a pathway. It's gonna it's gonna get in the way. Come on, Pale. Um. Oh yeah. Uh, the Luna Two landed on on Moon's surface September thirteenth, nineteen thirty nine. Let's be honest, the space race did invent technology that is very important to us now in 2020. And that's true. That is very true. It's art. It is not art. <laughs> you can't just put it a, a block down and say art. This is art. Look, look, look at the art. I mean, I, I know some people like to think it's art. I, I am not of that mind. I think uh, you're talking about uh, Sputnik. Yes, I, I am talking about Sputnik. Uh, Sputnik satellite. I think that was the first satellite. Do you know how the Americans figures... How the Americans figure satellites out? Do you know this? I did not know the story. No, I do not know the story. Like, how, how did they handle the... Uh... There he is. Cannot look at him in the face. If I look at him in the face, he will get bitchy. Hello. Hello, Mr. Enderman. Are you having a nice day? Oh, gosh. I hope you are doing well. Here. Let me make a staircase for you. Wub wub to you, too, sir. Wub wub to you, too. Oh, gosh. Dude, the hell? Did I actually hit him? Like, what the hell? Like I did not, I did not attack him. I don't, I don't even know if I hit him or not, to be honest. Oh, okay, okay. I did not know that. I did not know that. That is good to know. Oh, and there's a little safe area right here because of my bridge. Okay, that makes sense. That makes mucho, mucho sense now. Okay, um, put one there, put one there, and there's a whole bunch of iron right there, so we'll grab that. Yeah, if you ever need an Enderman to go away, just put down some water. That's not a bad idea. Did they just disappear? 
Excuse me. So they just disappear if they get hit with water? Or, like, what happens? Or do I have to do it multiple times? Um, okay, so the Soviets are trying to rub the satellite in the Americans' face, so they publicly displayed it to the public. So the Americans sent agents to sneak into the building in the middle of the night, and they took the satellite apart and re uh, reassembled it overnight. It's true story. It's insane. That's awesome, actually. That's actually very interesting. Oh, man. That's actually, that's actually one hell of a story, you know, to be able to tell... You know, your kids, your grandkids. Hey, uh, you know, we <laughs> we we snuck into the Kremlin or wherever the hell it was stored and dismantled it and put it back together. So we actually figured out how satellites work. That's actually kind of cool. Damn, why are coal veins so huge? I just want to get iron, damn it. I don't care about the coal right now. Look at this. Look at this. I came here with one stack of 64. I now have two, and I'm starting on a third. It's insane. And that's how the Americans figure it's out satellites. I'll send you the wiki link on, on your just definitely do it. Well, at least it's daytime. Oh, I see you there, little bastard. I hate creepers so very much. That's what I think I'll do. She'll do that. Make myself a little... Mr. Creeper, I see you, bud. Oh, I hit it. I definitely hit him. Oh, it's cheeky as fuck. <laughs> the Soviets did the same thing to the Americans. That's the funny thing about the Cold War. We were doing the same shit to each other. And then we were pretending to... It never... Oh, yeah. 100%, dude. That's just... I mean... It's just espionage. And to be honest, it's not just the... Like... That, that's just been going on for, you know, millennia, basically. You know, pe like people being sneaky to each other and doing ridiculous things. And then, you know, acting as if it never happened. Hello. That was an interesting sound. Mr. Creeper. Where you at, buddy? Yeah, there's lava around here. I'm going to set up some, uh... So, I don't want to go too far, but I do want to go far enough, so we'll put one there. Put one there. Again. Hey, Mr. Creeper. Did I really miss that? And he is dead. Put a light down here. Just for safety's sake. It's more than four, finally. Well, it was more than four. I won't get too mad about it. Did 
No, it's not Tab. It's Tilda? What's the... It's not F1. I'll give you an example of the Soviets messing around with the U.S. You you ever heard of uh, Roswald? No. What is Roswald? I kind of actually don't want to... Eh. To be honest, I will get... I'll get some more. Not the end of the world if I lose my diamond pickaxe. We got some stairs. Hoping to find some actual diamond around here, but apparently... Just not. Uh, the Roswald. Roswald. Roswald UFO incident. No, I'm not familiar with it. Uh, I have Roswell, maybe? Uh, Roswell makes, uh, sounds familiar. Not heard of Roswald, but I have heard of Roswell. Roswell? I think. Maybe I'm just wrong, I don't know wrong a lot, so. Oh, did we hit a big vein? Not really. Did it finally stop raining? Nope, I'm just under enough cover that it's not right in my ears. Uh, I am vaguely familiar with Roswell, but I'm not like I'm not well versed in it. You know, I'm gonna put a torch down there as well. It's not quite as dark, and then we'll just continue making some stairs up. You know, that was not a UFO. The Americans knew it. Uh, but they didn't want to look embarrassed, so they allowed the public to go with the UFO. Really? That, uh, to be honest, that act is actually not surprising at all. Um, would not would not be the first time I would think that the, the government would be like that. So what was it? Was it like a... I, I can only guess that it was like a test aircraft or something. Excuse me. Anything else? Anything else? No. I was really hoping to find... I was really hoping to actually find some sort of dungeon or something. I haven't found anything of the sort. Makes me a little sad. 
Where? Ah, here it is. Here it is. You know, no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill this back up. You know, no, 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 I'm just gonna do this. Big down. Hold on, I, I see, I see you've written something. I'll read it in a second. Roswell was a Soviet craft that crash landed with alien looking bodies. Really, alien looking bodies on it, but it was a ruse. The bodies was what the Soviets found uh, uh, found how to create from a Nazi concentration camp studies. It was all a ruse to fuck around with the Americans to make them believe that the aliens were coming. Really? That I did not know. That's actually very interesting. Yeah. And just, just the things, the things that these, yeah, the Soviets and the Americans were doing to each other is just kind of hilarious. Just in, in terms of like the, the espionage stuff and just making them think different things. So that's actually just really interesting. Uh, the reason the American government covered it up is because they didn't want to look embarrassed by the fact that the Soviets had a craft flying over USA airspace. Oh, yeah. It just suddenly... It did. It just suddenly stopped raining. Well, I'm not going to complain. But, yeah. Yeah, I, I, could, I could see that being a, a no bueno thing. You know? Particularly is that I mean that leads to certain implications that the if the Russians could get there you know get into American airspace that easily um, during that time you know so the threat of actual like you know particularly back then like the threat of like nuclear bombs going off for the U S uh, was you know rather high alert I'm sure the same thing was for Russia too so the idea that Russians could get in and actually you know fly aircraft into U S airspace for the Americans did not like that prospect at all. Torches. Something there. Something there. Put one there. Let's see if there's any more iron around here, if that seems to be it. And to be fair, it's it's not a bad haul. I mean I've got two stacks, but at some point I'm going to have to start heading back pretty soon. And I was hoping to find some diamond or some redstone or something. Uh, the Americans knew it was the Soviets because they also liberated some concentration camps. Excuse me. All concentration camps did human biological studies. They knew the studies all uh, studies as well. But the Russians knew uh, they wouldn't go public with it because it's mad disturbing. Oh yeah. 100%. Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised by that at all. The Russians did some messed up stuff. Particularly with, like, their the gulags and their concentration camps. Pretty horrible. And even then, I don't want to say, like, Ru it's the Soviets. It's the Soviet Union. It's, it's communistic bullshit. So, yeah. 
lot of these Cold War in incidents uh, tie into World... Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I mean, there was uh, so much ties into World War II. A lot of our technology ties into World War II also. I mean... A lot of a lot of the stuff that we use today has had its basis out of World War II. I think it's the reason why it's it's such a big defining event for just the world, but particularly like the U.S., Europe. Oh, hello! That was a piece of iron I did not see. Um, start lighting up this side. Here we go. Let's be honest. Here, the Americans did the same thing. They took Nazi studies and applied to the American population. You've heard MK Ultra and Operation Paperclip. Vaguely. MK Ultra sounds far more familiar, but I think there's also a game called MK Ultra. Project MK Ultra. Also called the CAA Mind Control. Oh, yeah, I remember hearing about this. Codename given to a program of experiments in human subjects that were designed and undertaken by the US. And yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, let's get this down. All right, right here. Yeah. What was what was Operation uh, Paperclip though? I'm not familiar with that. Do not want to use my sword to break apart stone. Is that iron? I I actually cannot tell. Yes, that is iron. Nice. At least I'm getting plenty of iron. What is I'm still waiting, <laughs> Gib? What what is uh, Operation uh, Paperclip? I am curious. Interesting, interesting little alcove here. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna have to look it up myself. Uh oh, there we go. You know, MKUltra was a result of the Nazi operations. Oper uh, uh, operation Paperclip was the operation of the Americans created in '44 to capture as many Nazi scientists as possible. And uh, the Russians had a similar operation. Technically, the Cold War started a year before the Nazis were defeated. Really? Now that I did not know. But yeah, I, yeah, there was there was definitely a, a bunch of you know Nazi scientists that were captured by the U.S. and then basically put to work working on uh, some of the same stuff that they were working on before, basically just giving it to the Americans instead. So yeah, and I'm sure plenty of that stuff was not good. I'm, just, I'm also sure plenty of that stuff was actually a lot better than what we think it is. What the hell is going on with my game? I've been seeing that happen a couple times where just like the terrain keeps disappearing. It's weird. Okay, let's make some more. Oh, I didn't even need to make more. I already had... Gosh. I am an idiot. I am definitely an idiot man.
Whoa. Well, that's a big ass pit. Okay, I'll have to come back to that. Uh, you know the head of NASA, the guy who created uh, NASA was a Nazi, very close to Hitler himself. His name was uh, von Braun. That's right. Oh yeah, von von Braun. I mean, he was he was the guy who was first starting to work on rockets. Um, yeah. Was he close to Hitler though? I did I did not know that. At some point, I'm gonna have to go and dump this stuff off. Holy cow! Way too much coal. I don't know why these coal veins are just so huge by comparison, particularly with the iron stuff. Pretty sure I've got enough coal to last me a lifetime now. Well, probably not. I could, <laughs> I could probably burn through a bunch of it, but yeah, you get what I'm saying. shit ton of coal. We shall do that. There we go. Uh, he was leading science and rocket engineering in Germany. Yes. I do remember hearing about that. Yeah. And then he came to work for the Americans after the war. Yep. Uh, yep, there's a ton of photos of him and Hitler having laughs. Hitler was a very interested in... Yes, he was. No, he was super interested. I think they were they were trying to work on, like, the first real, like, rocket technology and missile technology before, uh, before the end of the war. They just never finished it. So, yeah, I, I can definitely see that being the case. How far down does this thing go? Also, I still... Okay, I gotta find out what the console command is, because maybe it... Social interactions only... No, I don't... I don't want social interactions. What is the console command? Uh, people don't know this, but the German V-2 rocket was the first man-made object in space way before the Soviets were the Marines. Really? I didn't know that. No, I... <clears throat> yeah, that's really interesting. Like, I knew he was working on it. I, don't, I didn't think they'd actually gotten it to a point where it was even in space yet. I thought it was just uh, uh, still experimental. Uh, that was weird. Um, but yeah, I thought it was still experimental when they, you know, when the war ended. I didn't think that, you know, that they were still actually working on it. I didn't think they even got anything into space yet. So that's actually kind of interesting. The things you, the things you learn, right? Okay, you know, I'm going to look up this console command right now. It's it's going to drive me a little nuts. Um, Minecraft... Location? <clears throat> I'm going to see... Current depth in Minecraft. Um, okay, the best to check your depth is to place torches. Uh, signs will. Oh, come on. Console command. Dum dum. View your distance from the bedrock uh, by pressing F3. Yes! Okay, there we go my depth right now where is the location x y ah there we go i'm at 36 okay okay that's not bad 
I still need to go down a little further, but oh well. Cool, cool, cool. Yep, they tested uh, they tested the rockets. The V2 was being developed late in the war. They didn't have time to finish it uh, to actually use it against their enemies. If they finished it, they could have uh, they could have targeted New York City, Moscow, DC, Leningrad, and such without sending an army over there. Yeah, that is a, that is definitely a scary thought. Why it's why we should be very grateful they, <laughs> that they did not, because that would have been pretty pretty horrible. That would have been a huge turning point in the war for sure. Okay, I think what I'm going to do right now is I am actually going to go ahead and run back to the house, dump a bunch of the stuff that I've found. So, like, all the iron, all the coal, all this extra stuff, and then I need to try and figure out a way. Figure out what I want to do in terms of... Uh, I need to get down a little lower to actually start finding diamond. Diamond and redstone. I have a lot more. There we go. And plus we can actually smelt down all that iron too. Check that it's safe. Yep. Cool. Let's go. Run, you fool. Back to MK Ultra. The original MK started in concentration camps. Uh, the experiments continued under the Americans uh, on the general public without their knowledge. Really? That I'm gonna need to see some evidence for that they did that they did experiments on the general public. Public, um, yeah. That seems a little that seems a little odd. Um, without their knowledge, the Soviets continued the program as well, but in their gulags. Yep. See, and that sounds about right. Just the fact that I mean, the, the Soviets loved putting people in their gulags. Uh, you can see, you could, you could see them continuing all sorts of experiments like that. So that makes sense. But I mean, running experiments on the general public, like for the, from the U.S. side, that just seems weird. Like that seems a like a horrible way to actually gather data, and b just a uh, like all sorts of horrible adverse side effects. So, yeah, that's that's weird. Uh, experiments on human subjects that were designed and undertaken by the U.S. Central Intelligence, or the CIA. Some of which were illegal. Yeah, certainly sounds like it. Experiments on humans were intended to identify and develop drugs and procedures to use in interrogations, such as, like, the truth serum, sodium pentothal. In order to weaken individual and force confessions through mind control. The project was organized through the Office of Scientific Intelligence, or the CIA, and coordinated with the United States Army Biology, Biological Warfare Laboratories. Other code names for drug-related experiments were Project Bluebird and Project Artichoke. The operation was officially sanctioned in 53, reduced in scope in 64, and further curtailed in 67. Officially halted in 1973, the program also engaged in illegal activities, including the use of U.S. and Canadian citizens in its unwitting test as its unwitting test subjects, which led to controversy regarding its legitimacy. MK Ultra used numerous methods to manipulate its subjects' mental states and brain functions. The techniques included the covert administration of high doses, 
doses of psycho sorry, psychoactive drugs, especially LSD, and other chemicals, uh, electroshock, hypnosis, sensory deprivation, isolation, and verbal and sexual abuse. Yikes. That is horrible. Uh, in addition, other forms of torture. Yikes. Yeah, that's horrible. That is super, super, super horrible. Um, the sad part about uh, this all is that the Soviets so-called liberated most of the concentration camps. They did. Uh, they freed most of the concentration camps, but the sad part is it wasn't liberation, really. They took all the prisoners and just marched them back to the gulags for their own use. Yeah. Yeah, that is that is super sad. That is so horrible. Yeah. Horrible. <laughs> um, yes, the MK Ultra program was done on American citizens without their knowledge, mainly in brothels. Uh, they would have hookers working on working for the CIA. The hookers would administrate LSD and such their victims without their knowledge. Really, that's crazy. That that is yeah that that is crazy. I need to actually make some more arrows. I do have plenty of flint, however, so that's good. Um, got some dirt. I need to put all this in here. There. I don't actually need. Hold on. I don't need this on me right now. Find that cobblestone there. And then where's actually? We'll we'll take the feathers right now, and we shall go ahead and make some arrows quickly. And I need. Damn it. And there would be doctors behind the behind glass. I assume you mean like a one-way mirror, which uh, which was only see-through from one side. Yeah, it's so a one-way mirror, uh, the doctor's side, and they would watch people being dosed up and getting down to business. Uh, it's disturbing, but it really happened in the 60s. Yikes, that is that is pretty horrible. Like, I know there was also like, uh, uh, you know, people doing like the, gosh, what was it called? Like the acid wash test or whatever it is, where they'd like administer LSD as well. That's also pretty, pretty messed up too. I need some more chicken feathers. Let's go and harvest some chicken feathers, shall we? I think, I think I can do so with the uh, with the shears. I might be wrong on this. Let's find out. Works on the sheep, not on the chickens. So I'm going to need to work on that a little. Charles Manson was MK Ultra subject. Really? That actually <laughs> that actually would explain a lot. Uh, yeah, that would definitely explain a lot. Guy was crazy. So, yeah, that explains far too much, actually. Okay, and then let's just quickly replant the seeds.
Damn you! Dumb pumpkin, you're not supposed to go there. And now I don't have a... Yeah. this this earth right here that's why there's so much conspiracy around Charles Manson because he was literally experimented on yep as I said that's why it makes sense it actually makes a lot of sense I mean the guy the guy lost it pretty much so now we know why <laughs> yeah yeah Pretty horrible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I came in here for the hoe. Just retill that earth. Um, there it is. I think that should be all set. Come on, man. are all looking good. We'll go ahead and harvest the pumpkins. I should actually start uh, planting potatoes as well. Speaking of which, I think I can actually use potatoes to actually uh, start breeding the pigs. So that would actually be good. Um, I don't need the hoe anymore. It wasn't like they were given safe doses. They were pumped up, and you can't really die from taking too much LSD. What happens when you take too much is it cracks your brain and you go crazy, become delusional. And that's what they were doing. Uh, they were like giving ten times the normal dose, really. That's horrible. That's absolutely ridiculous. So what what then so what ended up happening to a bunch of those people then? Or at least what what ended up happening to the CIA guys? I, I assume they were caught for whatever the hell they were doing. I wonder I, I wonder if there were actually ever any repercussions to what happened. I doubt it, but yeah. Yeah, that's pretty horrible. Hello, puppy. Here you go, bud. Got you, got you some zombie flesh. Yeah, I thought you'd love that. Okay, um drop off some of the stuff we've got. We don't need any more dextrite. We good to have some gravel. And a site. Cobblestone I'll keep. I don't need the granite. Keep a nice fresh stack of dirt on me. Now part of what I was also wanting to do was I was wanting to actually I know I harvested all those pumpkins. Ooh, it looks like a bunch of the pumpkins are actually ready to go. Please tell me you did not go into any of the... Good, 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 good. 
looks like you all went the proper the proper direction this time, which I appreciate. I thoroughly appreciate. Eh. There we go. Okay. We need to now get the chickens just going crazy here. You and you. Get it on. You and you. Go for it. You and was there one other? I don't think there was. Yeah, we got some baby chickens. Nice. What is it? Does that actually make them grow up faster? If you give them the... Uh... That's interesting. And I do still have some of these as well. Okay, so who likes... Do you like this? Yes, you do. Awesome, we can get some baby cows going. Um, you and you, please. Get it on, please. that uh oh no those people got away because mk ultra the project itself was only discovered in the 80s and 90s the project took place in the late 40s through the 50s yikes that sucks we only know about mk ultra from a single document that confirmed its existence wow yeah that's in that's insane really have they have there been any uh documentaries on it at all that, that I think would be somewhat interesting to watch, to see like what they were trying to accomplish. Of course, that would also be dependent on any, you know, any of any of the people associated with it even talking about it, which then could potentially get them, you know, arrested, which wouldn't really work out in their favor. So maybe not. You know, may, I somehow doubt that they would. Uh, CIA tried to burn all the documents about, uh, but one survived. Yeah. I get, uh, yeah. I wonder why they would have done that. Did I put gravel in? I did put gravel in here. I should not have put gravel in here. We're gonna put that there. We're gonna put this gravel in there. Okay, so the wheat goes there. Seeds go in that other one. Eggs, however, do we need to go there? And okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wrong one. I'm sure there must be one documentary because it's public knowledge now, and everyone that worked on it is dead at this point. Possibly, you never know. Maybe there's some really old CIA agent somewhere who uh, who helped facilitate this stuff somewhere. Or maybe there's somebody who was experimented on that we could actually question. I mean, I know Charlie Mance is still alive. Not that he'd... Not that he'd actually, you know, talk about it. Or if he did, that it would be any, you know, any bit, you know, cohesive. But you never know. Okay, um, what else do we want to do? Oh, the pumpkins! Damn it, I forgot to put the pumpkins in with the food. I came down here because I wanted to put the pumpkins away. And I was not wanting to do that either. Pumpkins, you go there, and then grab these potatoes. We need to plant these. Just 
make sure things don't get smushed, um, I shall go ahead and put... Yes, right here. Plant some potatoes here. And where's another one? That will not be hit. I think that'll work. Okay. So we got four potatoes planted, and hopefully that'll actually get us more. I think that garden's actually coming along quite nicely. I need to still find melons, I need to still find carrots, but it's growing. It's getting there. Bro, like you were skeptical when I told you they experiment on U.S. citizens without their knowledge. You were skeptical, and so is everyone that I tell. Uh, that I tell this to, but when Wiki tells you. So, the thing that... The other thing is, like, you you further explained as to what they were doing. So, like, when, whenever I hear, you know, general public at large, I think, like, they're putting it in the water supply or something, but then you actually explain, no, they're actually giving it to people who are in brothels or giving it to people who are, you know, basically kind of, like, taking part of somewhat illicit activities in and of themselves, which that actually sounds somewhat much more believable. You know what I mean? So, like, lead with that next time. <laughs> so that makes a lot more sense. And And to be fair, like, again, like, gosh, what was that? Because there was also, like, this, uh, the LSD test back in the 60s, right? I forget what it was called. Like, the Ash of Wasp test or something like that? The acid tests were a series of parties held by author Ken... Keasley, primarily on the San Francisco Bay Area during the mid-60s, centered on the use and advocacy of psychedelic drug LSD, commonly known as acid. Yeah. LSD was not made illegal in California until 1966, probably because of his tests. So. <laughs> so. Yeah. Like... If you had led with either like that or or like with what you were said after the fact, then I'm like, oh yeah, that okay, that that actually does make a lot more sense. Because my my first thought when you say public, like on the general public, my my first thought is, oh, they were like, you know, putting in the water supply or something like something like that, which seems a little ridiculous. Uh, let's start with a smaller block. Hello? There we go. Uh, you do know they poisoned alcohol during Prohibition in the 30s. That was for the general public. They poisoned the general public's supply to convince people alcohol was bad. And you can look, look this up too. See, now that actually sounds somewhat viable. Horrible, but somewhat viable. Just because the, the shit that was being done during Prohibition... Hello! Hello. Hi, Mr. Enderman. It is good to see you. I'm not looking at you in the face, I promise. I'll, I'll, I'll go down here. But yeah, I mean, the prohibition itself is just super stupid. So the, I, I could definitely see the people advocating for prohibition doing stupid shit. So. Yeah. Okay. So I got two options here. I could either go down... I could either go down here, right? So if I go if I go further down here, there's this little pit. I could either go down there, or I could dig my way down. Oh, well, this way I wouldn't have to dig so much. I could just go down and kind of make myself a little staircase. I think that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll, we'll make a little staircase or something.
Yes, Prohibition was a bad idea. 100%. Like, I, I... I just don't get what they were thinking with Prohibition. Made zero sense whatsoever. Oh gosh, hello, there's a creeper. Hello, buddy. I don't think I hit him. Now, I will tell you something that uh, may shock you. You know how Russia is the country of alcoholics during the Soviet Union from 1917 to 1991? Alcohol was completely illegal. Also, tobacco was... Uh, also tobacco, that was Gulag. Really? Now that I did not know. That's crazy. That is so interesting. Like... <laughs> like... Oh, man. Like, the Russians have always been known for, you know, particularly vodka and, you know, enjoying a lot of it, if you will. Um, so, like, the idea that, like, that was their... But that was illegal just boggles the brain, to be honest, because that just does not make any sense. Like, does not compute. <laughs> so that is that is actually really interesting. Like, why? Actually, I do not. Uh, come on. Okay, never mind. I'm wrong. That's a dumb... That is actually a super dumb question. Why? Why? Because it's easier to control people. That's why. Hello, Mr. Spider. Oh, gosh. I didn't realize you could hit me from there. Go ahead. Come on. Climb up. See, I can also hit you. But yeah, like... Yeah, it, it, it actually does make sense now, because... Easier to control people when they're, you know doing what you want them to do so that does make sense that does make sense yeah but i told people people resorted to making vodka from chicken shit uh that was the only way to make it in the soviet union and if you were caught it was gulag time yeah sounds about right so was so was this the same for everybody or was this just uh oh, it's terrifying um or could, like, the, the Soviet officers and, like, the people in charge, could they actually partake in, in uh, alcohol? Why is those there? There we go, that's better. Just a second. Just want to make sure that there's not going to be anything coming at me. I really don't need that right now. Most interesting. Little pathway here. Little pathway here. Uh, only the elites got alcohol, but they did it in private because they portrayed themselves as the common man, so they couldn't show people that they were enjoying life. Yeah, it was all one big propaganda control to control the peasants. Yep. Yeah, that's always the thing that just you know just makes me laugh whenever they talk about you know the uh, uh, the Soviets, communism, and whatnot, and like how oh yes, this is for the people, for the people. But the problem is that it's never just for the people. It's, uh, you know, everything for themselves. It, it's like, the way I always think of it, it's, it's like, they're basically creating mini mar uh, uh, monarchism 
you know, a new type of monarchism, except instead of having like a divine right to rule, it's just you pretending to be doing to, to be ruling on behalf of the people, when in fact you are not. You're ru ruling on behalf of yourself. So, yeah. In fact, those uh, I just recently watched uh, Doctor Zhivago. I've never watched it before. Always heard of it. Always heard it was a, a classic, but. Yeah, it's it's actually amazing to watch. It's it's a really good story and shows a lot of like the Russian, uh, 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 at least you know it, it it gives us an insight into like the Russian uh, uh, revolution and kind of what happened leading up to it. So yeah, no, exactly. It always does. That's why I never quite get why people are so ready. Like particularly like young people are always just so ready to jump into the arms of communism and socialism. It it's just it does not end well. It never has. Like it, it's just like the only thing that I can that I can see is that they're they're always uh, uh, you know convinced by the, uh, the 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 carrot of free shit. You know what I mean? Oh, if, if you if you sign up for socialism, you'll get free education, free healthcare, free this, free that. Never works out. Never does. So, yeah. And it always leads to just horrible treatment of people. And usually some sort of two-tier system in which you've got elites and then everybody else. So, it's it's far worse. It's far worse. And people are always like, oh, capitalism is so bad. Look at how horrible people are treated under cap. No, no, they're not. Yeah, I mean, you, you get people who who work hard and then you know get some some form of success, and you got people who don't. But that's more. A lot of that's based on your own work ethic, a lot of your work, own opportunities. Yes, there's definitely some insider trading stuff, but again, a lot of hard work will can overcome a lot of that too. You know all the peasant sailors who were tricked into who were tricked into by Lenin to overthrow the Tsar, uh, the Tsar throne. All those sailors, once the revolution was over, they were put up against the wall and shot. Yep. Yep. Now, in fact, that was kind of like the the that was one of the things that I found was super interesting was that uh, one of the characters uh, becomes like a major so so like he was kind of like one of the peasants who were part of the ravelry, part of the part of the early revolutionary days, part of the peasants. And he ends up becoming like this major commander in the Red Army. And he's like going around and doing all these horrible things, but he's doing it in the name of communism and and, and for for the revolution and like he was leading their armies and he was doing a lot of stuff for the Red Army. But then at the end, after after the war was pretty much over and the revolution was pretty much done and they've got this new thing set up, they pretty much take him out. <laughs> like, super like super quick. As you said, like they pretty much lined him up against the wall and shot him. And it happens off-scene, but like you know he's dead. So, yeah. I always tell, I always tell those people who are advocating for communism, and I always tell them, uh, that once you achieve your goal, you will be the first person to be lined up against the wall because you know too much. And not just that you know too much, but, like, always, it always ends up being that, uh, 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 the people, you know, the people who push communism always end up using, uh, 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 I'm trying to think of the right word. You know, people who like to rebel, people who are, like, counterculture and whatnot, and they use those people to basically fight against the system that's in play currently. But the problem is that once they, you know, once communism is brought up, as you say, they get put up against the wall and shot because they themselves will still be the same counterculture, counter-revolutionary, not counter-revolutionary, but, you know, just counterculture, uh, counter whatever the current system is, and they'll say, you can't keep doing this, so you either have to really join us or you pretty much go away, and how they make you go away, they put you in the gulag or they line you up against the wall and shoot you, unfortunately. It's, uh... Pretty horrible, but uh, them's the facts, right? There we go. We got some. Ooh, we got some. Whatever it's called, the the blue stuff. Nice. Okay. I think we're around diamond area around here, so. Mm. 
And it's also funny too, like I, I explained this once to a college buddy of mine, um, where he's like, "Yeah, I, I really want to vote for Bernie because he's going to talk about free school." Free. I'm like, dude, it's not free. It is never free. It's going to come out your taxes. And not only is it going to come out your taxes, it's going to come out your taxes for like the rest of your life. You're going to be not only paying for your schooling, but everyone else's schooling. So you're going to get a little bit amount of benefit and a large amount of cost for the rest of your life. Do you really want to do it? He's like, really? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, man. Where do you think they're going to get the money for? They're... Are they going to enslave the college professors? No, they're going to... They're still going to pay the college professors. They're just going to use your money to do it via taxes. So, yeah. So, whether or not that changed his mind, I don't know, but... Yeah, I, I, I hope it did. So... You know, the real tragedy of communism is is the tragedy of the people who fall into its trap. Uh, it's not people like us. It's the people who truly believe it, believe in it, not realizing that they are the first to go. That's the true tragedy. Yeah. 100%. It's, it's, yeah. Well, because, I mean, communism, in, in a sense, it does come off as, as somewhat idyllic, right? Because you, you want to make it fair. You want to make it yeah, you know, you, you want to help the people who are actually in need, but the problem is that when you tell government to... When, when you make that the job of the government, it usually ends up failing, because, again, as I always say, the government sucks at its job. The government are the worst people to put in charge of nearly everything. So... And the thing is, like, I feel like the people who who believe in it are don't actually know like the true consequences of, of what they're deciding on. You know what I mean? Like, they haven't really thought it through. They've only thought of it from the one perspective of, oh, I'm I'm in a bad situation and I need help. They're not thinking of of the situation that it's going to cause for everybody else, you know, the people who aren't necessarily in the bad situation. Like, maybe they're not in the best situation, but they're probably in a better situation than you know needing to require a handout from the government. There are skellies down there. Now I don't have a clear way back up. Well, shit. Another light right there. That'll do it. Really? There we go. That is better. Lava down there. Um, let's do that. Make myself a little staircase. There we go. Now I can get back up here. Awesome. Yeah, fairness goes against uh, goes against nature. You know this, right? Uh, nothing is fair. We can help people, but there's no way that life will be fair. Evolution does not favor fairness. This is a simple fact of life. There is some truth to that, right? So, I mean, the the best thing we can do is just try and create equal opportunities for everybody, so that everybody can at least get a chance at uh, you know get a chance at success and get a chance at actually you know doing something amazing and and succeeding 
the biggest problem is that people think that that's not good enough, and so they have to start working not towards equality and equality of opportunity, but towards instead on equality of outcome. Like, that's going to help anybody. So... Uh, that's the main problem with socialism, because Karl Marx was trying to say that nature is fair in its purest form, but that not true nature itself, but that not true nature itself is not fair. Wait, wait can you explain that? Can you word that a little differently? Because I'm, I'm trying to... So he was trying to say that nature is fair in its purest form? But that not true nature itself is not fair. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, let's get some torches ready. I'm going to cover this up, basically. torches put one there there we go Let's see if there's any more any more diamond would be very very much appreciated and I forgot to actually make a iron pickaxe when I came down here well I'll have plenty of iron to do so next time but I'm not gonna do that now um, but that's not true because nature itself is not fair. Yes. No, yes, that is accurate. Uh, but that's the best thing, opportunity. That's why America is great. You get the opportunity to create a great life. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, my, pa my parents came here, and my dad was, like, in his late 30s. And he was able to come here, and we came here with, like, $1,000. And that's it. Like, even back then, like, that was more than what it is today, but, I mean... Still, not a lot. And my dad was able to get a job because he worked hard and he had a he had a degree. Um, do I, have dirt? I do have dirt. Good. Yeah, let's do that. But anyway, as I was saying, like he had a degree, he got a job. He he. In fact, not only did he have a job, but he he had to prove that he wasn't taking an American's job. So when he got his job. Uh, he was actually, his company was actually forced to put an advertisement um, so that an American could get the chance of getting the job. And if they could not find somebody who was better than he was, then he could keep his job. And again, this is in the 90s. This is uh, uh, like 94 when we came to the States. And uh, yeah, that, it's, it's crazy the things that they had like the immigration stuff that they had back then i don't know if that's the same the same way now with the way things are being pushed with uh you know democrats and you know pretty much wanting open borders and whatnot um but yeah the uh my, my dad had to jump through all sorts of hoops and uh he he was able to basically keep the job and then uh Yeah, but he, he had to work hard, and he saved up. He, we ended up getting a house. Again, all this from just him working, and then he ended up, we got we got nat naturalized, so we got the green card, and then he started his business, and then we became citizens, and, like, the rest is history. But my dad had to work his ass off to to be able to provide for, for his family and to be able to, you know, stick within the legal everything but because there was some sort of you know equal 
you know, the idea of equal opportunity, it allowed him to do that. So, yeah. That's what modern day socialism is all about. It's all about being lazy. Whenever, whenever I tell a communist about opportunity, they tell me, fuck opportunity. It's like they want to be provided. No, they do. I mean, that's, that is the thing. I mean, I, I feel like the, the people who are advocating most for communism are the people who are basically wanting to sit on their ass and just, you know, do whatever. They don't want to work. They want to, they want to be provided for by mama and papa government, you know? I don't know. I wish that wasn't the case. And I, and I feel like a big part of this has come from the education system itself. Like, the whole idea of participation trophies and bullshit like that has just led to people just thinking, well, I just deserve to get a, to get paid because I exist, right? I, I think that's a big part of where it started. Uh, it started with basically... Yeah, pe people thinking that you needed a naughty trophy for freaking everything. So, yeah. Horrible. Just stupid. Yeah, Big Daddy government. Yeah, pretty much. That that uh, that is accurate. It is Big Daddy government. to say I mean it's just it's just kind of sad to see excuse me to see that people just really aren't willing to work anymore and I get it I mean work is hard <laughs> we all get it but yeah people just thinking that they deserve a paycheck or that they deserve whatever just because they're there it's so dumb And that really is it. I mean, you pretty much hit the nail on it. It is mainly just people just wanting to be lazy and not wanting to do anything. While you look at the teachers' unions right now, what's going on with uh, the teachers not going back to school during the pandemic? Yeah. it's It's got nothing to do with them caring about their own safety, particularly with even vaccinated teachers not wanting to go back. All it really is is just basically teachers not wanting to work. That's all it is. I, d I don't think it's anything beyond that. So, yeah. Is there a way to... I bet you... Yeah, there's obsidian there. There we go. That should take care of all that extra water. some more torches oh yeah and you know the crazy thing about this all about this all I came from a communist background and when I tell these people they try to lecture me on communism even though they never experienced communism but when it comes to BLM they can't talk about it because we never experienced it yeah I know right it is it is kind of hilarious to, to hear a lot of these people make that, those types of arguments, right? Oh, well, you don't know what you're talking about when it comes. It's no true. Con you, you, it's, it's the it's the no true Scotsman fallacy, you know. Oh well, 
those people weren't really communists. You you look at these real communist states, those are the ones where, where everything's working out perfectly and nobody was ever killed for no reason whatsoever and, you know, all the sorts of bullshit. So. This is Obsidian, right? I'm not actually hitting Bedrock. Yep. And I lost it. Shit. Well, that sucked. Any more diamonds? No. So we can't talk about BLM because you never experienced slavery, but these same people will lecture me on communism even though... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because they think that they know better than you. It's like they think they know better than everyone else. Yeah, just it's just stupid people being pretty much stupid, and uh, you know, just either either being using people or being used by other people. Pretty much all it is. It's just kind of sad. Um, do I have any more cobblestone? Yes, I do. So many different paths. Let's open this up just a little bit. I think people have been subverted. Yeah, I, I I think there is definitely a lot of a lot of truth to that. I think a lot of people have been. I think it's it's partly due to being just badly educated on history and just kind of how how communism has pretty much ruined the lives of millions of people and taken the lives of millions of people. Um, as well as just completely removing any and all chance at opportunity and uh, creating pretty much the same two-tier system that they're constantly bitching about. And they're constant, constantly bitching about the 1% and the, people, and the haves and the have-nots and whatnot, but communism is the ultimate worst at that because it, they always create just the worst sort of you know, haves versus have not situation. I sent you a video of a Soviet KGB defector explaining subversion. You'll see this video and you'll realize uh, very quickly what what's happening. I wouldn't be surprised because I mean a lot of the same stuff was that's been happening, uh, 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 that was happening via you know subversive tactics and whatnot has actually happened in the country where we left from, which was South Africa. Um, we got the hell out because of just the crap that was going on there. And, uh, yeah. It's become just a, another corrupt African country, unfortunately. So, and it's, uh, that was also a, a, like a Marxist socialist revolution. And this is... I think I'm at the end here of this, uh, this little cave. I've pretty much explored everything. some diamonds down there. There was not. Oh well. Um yeah, it's getting late. I need to I need to actually head head back up and go save at the uh hold on before I do. that and we'll 
just head back out. Now, oh, I should remember the way because the torches, if the torches are on my left side, that means I'm actually heading the right way to get out. Well, let's see if there's any diamonds down here. There are not. Okay, good to know. Go up here. And did I fully explore this? I don't know. I might have. Yes, I did. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I sent you the video whenever you have time to watch. Yes, I will definitely watch it. I will watch it tomorrow, for a fact. Um, I'm not going to be able to... Because i got to head to bed for, head to bed pretty soon. I just want to get out of here before I shut down the stream. Oh my gosh! The hell? No! Go away! Leave me alone, creeper! You creepy son of a bitch. Well, that worked. Oh, I jumped though. <laughs> I jumped. I jumped pretty hard at that. I heard. I heard the creeper start to start to hiss, and that just freaked me out. Uh, he explained ideological subversion. Uh, this was invented under Stalin regime, uh, Soviet Union. And now it's being taken over by the Chinese Communist Party. Well, I mean, they're both communists, so it makes sense. Um, so everything that the KGB is explaining is what the Chinese are doing out, really. Again, not... Honestly, not surprising, just because, you know, both of them are communist parties, so... Makes sense that they have similar similar tactics and similar ideologies. Thankfully, that ravine's actually not too far from the house. At least I can come back here and actually store all the stuff that I found. Didn't find everything I was wanting. I did find nine diamonds, though. A whole bunch of red dust. Um, did find some lapis lazuli. Which is not a bad find. Although, I'm not really sure what it's used for. Like, it always seems to be decorative. And that's it. So... Um, let's put this, 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 this in here. Nice. That's all fully, fully smelted down. Plenty of iron, that's awesome. Um, what else? What else do I have to drop off? Some flint. Some flint. Um... Drop off the seeds, the flowers, uh, the sugar cane. Oh, I forgot to drop off the gunpowder. There we go. Okay, and I think we shall call it there, guys. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. Sorry about, about all the uh, historical talk, but uh, it, it is nice to talk about different stuff and just kind of get into it. Um, it all started with... Uh, Gregorian? Not the state, the country. Sorry, Georgian. With that Georgian. I see. I see what you're saying. Wait, wait. Was was uh, Karl Marx Georgian? Or are you talking about the subversion stuff? Oh, he was German. Okay. Have a great night, Broski. Yeah, thank you so much for hanging. Oh, Stalin was Georgian. Really? 
I thought he was Russian. I had no idea he was Georgian. That's interesting. I did not know that. Hmm. Learns learn something new every day. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. Um, gosh, been an interesting stream. Well, we went through, we explored the ravine, we hung out, and we chatted about a whole bunch of different stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, Gip Polaris, uh, for keeping the chat alive. Thank you to everyone that has stopped by as well. Um, Pale Gloss, Rex000, The League Esports 2, which I believe was Danny. Um, Original G was in here as well. I just don't see any of his chats. There he is. Okay. And, uh, yeah, obviously good Polaris. And, of course, thank you to everyone who's actually still... Everyone who is actually still in the chat. Excuse me. Uh, Original G, Ball857. I don't know if that's a... Uh, that could be a bot. That could be a bot, but I've not seen it before. So I'm going to think it's not a bot until I see otherwise. Um... Get Polaris, obviously. Uh, and Pale Gloss. Thank you guys so much for still being here. And I believe there are some people watching via hosts. Um, let's go check out to see who's hosting right now. No repeat. Rex000. The Iceman Cometh360. Hypnotic Chronic 1. Misbehave 8. And Abagaba. Thank you guys so much for the hosts. I really do appreciate it. And thank you to anybody who happens to be watching from any of those hosted channels. Um, yeah. If you guys have enjoyed the stream, please consider hitting that follow button. And if you guys would like to see when I go live, please consider hitting, uh, checking out... Please go check out Twitter and the Discord. If you guys would like to see when I am going live. There we go. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Twitter and the Discord, two best places for it. I'll always announce in these two places when I go live. And... Uh, on the Discord, there's actually a schedule for what we're playing and when I will be playing it. Also, obviously, in the Discord, we can hang out as a community, talk, do whatever. So, um, Also, if you guys would like to see how we got started with uh, Minecraft, you can go check out the YouTube channel. I got all my VODs up there, so you can go check out how we got started with Stellars, or not Stellars, Minecraft. Uh, but you can also check out the videos for Mass Effect Andromeda, um, Stellaris, City Skylines, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, Beyond Good and Evil, um, Hollow Knight, a whole bunch of different games on there, so, on there. so please go check it out. Um, yeah, what else is there? But yeah, all these links are also down below in the profile as well, so you can go check that out there. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me. Have a great night. I will see you guys tomorrow. We'll be continuing on with, uh, uh, with Minecraft, and we'll be exploring, potentially exploring a little bit more of that ravine and uh, hopefully we can find an actual little dungeon where we can actually find some treasure chests. So, yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out. Have a great night, and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. This is Green Leader, signing out.